hey guys so in the previous video I showed you how you can import um, your Excel data onto a Python script okay so um, I'm just taking off from where I stopped but I'm going to make my code clean because I have redundant data here now this is an Excel sheet this is um, a CSV sheet okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to work with only one so I'm going to take away let's say let's say I'll take away the Excel sheet okay and I'll take over the Excel sheet, everything related to the Excel sheet. All right, so now let's start. So, assuming you have your script imported, your data imported on Python, okay? So, let me just print it out so you see what I have here. So, I have my data imported on Python, and you want to work with one of the columns, okay? Like you want to work with one or more of the columns. What you can do is there are about two ways that I know of you can be able to call out the columns okay so for instance you want to have the names of the of, of of your contacts okay so what I can do is I'm going to say names is equals to I'm just creating a variable okay names is equals to df which is my data frame or my data dot um, dot names okay yeah so what's going to happen is this names here represents this word here names so what you're telling is is go through df and get me the one which which has a header called names okay and that's what it's going to do you can do the same for country so i can say countries um equals to df dot country oh wrong spelling country all right and you can print out any of them let's say print out countries yeah so let's run it so as you can see it has been able to actually locate all the countries and printed that column out okay so that's how that's how you can be able to extract one of your columns if you want to save them as a list okay so if I if I if I search for names okay let's see what it gives me it's going to give me something like this now if you wanted to appear as a name because this is appearing as um an object if you want a list out of it what you can do is you can encapsulate this into um, a list a list function okay just say list list this this object for me then you would see you can do the same to this guy list this object for me yeah list all right like this so you see you would have names appearing as a list okay it's it's so simple all right thanks for watching i'll see you in the next video